Hey friends, good morning. Danny coming at you. We uh, are be trying to beat the heat and we're going to start some of this canning and preserving before the sun comes up today. Let me show you what we got out of the garden yesterday. This was our little haul from the garden yesterday. It's actually, I think, quite big. Got some tomatoes, a little bit of everything. We're going to do some jalapenos, some banana peppers, and some pickles today. And look at this baby that got forgotten several times. That probably killed one of our plants because it was forgotten so many times. But it was all camouflaged did and in and hidden. Anyway, I'm going to put these pickles in my basket here, and we're going to uh, head to the kitchen. Kids are still asleep. Well, I take that back. Gunner's still asleep. Emmy's up getting ready for school, and I've already got Justin's lunch made. Now we're going to get started on these pickles. One of you guys told me to put some vinegar in my stock pot to help keep the jars from being white. Thank you for that. I am doing that now. I'm not sure how much, so we're just going for it. All right, we have eight minutes and 20 seconds left on them pickles. Amy has an orthodontist appointment today, so it's a crock pot meal, kind of lunch, kind of lunch, <laughs> kind of supper tonight. Uh, so I've got the crock pot out here. I'm gonna get this put in. And uh, fall is among us. Not really, it's like a bazillion degrees outside. I got the box fan on right here at me. Check out my apples and get ready to make some apple butter. But I got the box fan on because it is hot up in here. And we got the AC on. Anyhow, um, I would like to go uh, look at the Dollar Tree if they have electricity now for some maybe fall crafting because Emmy and I love to craft and stuff. I'm going to put this on so that I can leave for town a little bit early for her orthodontist appointment, do a few things, and then get back home and have supper. All done. You're probably wondering. She'd be talking about it being blazing hot and she's turning on the crock pot. Oh no, oh no. The crock pot be out here by the mini fridge that the water bottles are in. And it will be out here on the back porch doing its thing. Don't worry, I lifted the buckles off so it's not cooking with the buckles on. I just wanted to do that while I carried it outside so it didn't fall apart. Anyhow, there we go. Don't mind the mess. We live here.
Okay, friends, we are making pickles again. We are doing those, uh, some, the freezer pickles again. I'm not even gonna lie, they never made it to the freezer. My brother and I were the only ones that liked them. They, they were like, they were bread and butter pickles, seems like. Or they're just really, they're sweet and they're bread and butter. Anyhow, uh, we ate the fire out of them and they never made it to the freezer. <laughs> so I am, I've got a bunch of cucumbers, so I am making another batch right now i am just working on dissolving the sugar i've got all the cucumbers cut up right here in this bowl and uh these may or may not make it to the freezer and i'm not going to be sad if they don't i might be sad in a little while in the winter when i say mmm them pickles sound good there we go another batch of freezer pickles yum these are so good. I could eat the whole bowl right now, but I need to let them sit here for a while. We'll put these in the fridge overnight and then maybe, maybe they'll make it to the freezer. Doubtful. Our green beans are starting to look sad from the garden. Uh, we're not getting too many out anymore, but we are, I think uh, Justin's mom said that we can replant. I don't know if it's now or if we have to wait a little while, but at some point we can replant when those stop, completely stop producing. We're just getting a little bit. We got about a cottage cheese bowl size out. And we'll put all this in uh, one baggie. Runaway bean. We'll put all this in one baggie. Every bit counts. I have taken four jars of things out of the fridge, jalapenos, banana peppers, jalapenos, and tomatoes to get them up to room temperature. These, I think I'm actually just going to put in the freezer with these that I've got in the sink, but uh, these need to be up to room temperature so that we can uh, pickle them. So I'm bringing them out to bring them up to temperature and mix. I'll be able to put them all together with the ones I've got out on the porch from our recent garden harvest.
All right, that's two gallons of milk that I took the cream off of. I did put it in these little jars so that uh, I have more room for shakage. However, I am thinking about taking out this little, like, single smoothie blender maker thing. Thinking about experimenting, it may not work. And maybe trying to make the butter in there. I haven't decided if that'll go well or not. It might. Anyhow, there is some cream left on the milk, but uh, have y'all been to the store lately? You know how much butter cost? Too much. Anything at the store costs too much nowadays. So uh, when we trade our eggs for milk, that's where we get butter too. Butter, ranch, the, whole, the works. Uh, I do have a video coming up where we've made several things from it, but today I'm also gonna make some stuff. Okay, see this single smoothie contraption thingabobber? It, it goes kind of fast. I may not have it locked in right. Oh, yeah. See? Worst that could happen is I have to pour it back into the jar and shake it by hand, right? Let's give it a try. I'm just gonna do just the one jar for now. I don't wanna like fill this all the way up and end up with an ugly, ugly, ugly mess. <laughs> close the top, close the top so your thumb doesn't get nasty. two minutes and we're starting to sound a little different and I can feel it kind of shaking a little different. And I can see, see that it's getting thicker or like butter, you know. There we go. much time but it's fun I took the lid off I'm gonna get some of this milk out y'all can see what we got going on here So there's the butter we've got going. Interesting. Okay, so th there is a bunch on this cap, so I'm gonna rubber scraper it right off of here, back down in there. Yeah, I can probably just shake the jar in just as much time as this has taken, but it's been fun. Okay, I'm just scooping it out into my bowl, and I'm kind of getting a little bit more buttermilk out as I scoop, which is fine. But I'm going to get this completely clean. 
all the buttermilk off of it. And then I'll add a little salt to my butter and put it in the freezer. I'll probably go ahead and make that other one up and uh, put it all in one container and kind of fill this little bowl full. So whenever I take it out, I'll just have this in the fridge uh, and can use all of it. I'm at the five minute mark. <laughs> I ain't getting nowhere. Just kidding. You ain't got a fancy machine. Use your muscles. It works. This doubles as, oh, hang on. It leaked on me. As upper arm exercise. Go down like this, works them back muscles. You go up like this, it works the front muscles. Actually, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But it's making me tired. How many steps do you think a smartwatch would say you walked? You walked 14,000 steps today? No, I just made butter. Okay, we started seeing some color change at like about the 10 or 11 minute mark. We're at 12 minutes now. I can hear and I can see the buttermilk separating. Get my arm workout. I could add squats to this. You could make butter and get your workout in in your arms and your legs all at once. Yes! Maybe I need to make butter every day. Okay, I broke out a ranch packet because I'm going to make homemade ranch with this. And it says one cup of milk, one cup of mayonnaise, and then one packet of ranch. So this is about... This other jar, I poured it in here. It's a little over half. So, I didn't want to combine it all until I knew if I already had a whole cup. But. And there's our butter. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna shake it just a little bit more and get some more of that milk out. It's still pretty wet. Not much more. Whoop. Hey now. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. So, shaking it in the jar made it more like one solid piece. And I like that better. So, what I'm gonna do is put what's in here in this jar and kind of shake it all together. I got too many irons and a fire going on right here in this, at the stove. So anyway, yeah, it kind of clumps it all into one clump and I can put it in this bowl easier. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt. Just kinda. your salt in there. I am no butter making expert. Full disclosure. Isn't that what they always say? I ain't no butter making expert. Try at your own risk. Oh, this is so soft and smooth. Okay. bit of a taste tester. Oh, tastes like butter. <laughs> Yum. Okay, now we can get what little bit of milk is in the jar. Now I hope, now I hope it will fit. There we go. You can smooth it around, make it look like it's all smooth from the store. Butter. I'm going to date this 
and put it in the freezer. Okay, ranch. I'm going to use the same jar. I've cleaned up my mess a little bit on the stove, just a little. So I got that one cup of buttermilk. The buttermilk is key. Not just regular milk. It makes it so good. Mm. What am I trying to do here? Find me a rubber scraper that's big enough. Okay, cup of mayonnaise. We're going to eyeball it. That one wasn't big enough, huh? Let's go for that. We're going to add in this ranch that we just got at Aldi yesterday. And I'm back to exercising. I'm going to shake it. Oh, smell a tube. Oh, it smells so good. Get a new spoon and let's when I worked at the restaurant, of course you know we'd make it in like these big old box tub things. Uh, we just whisk it together. Anyway, alright. Let's give her a taste. Tastes like restaurant ranch, and restaurant ranch is not like store bought ranch. You got to make your own ranch. Oh, so good. I want a big old salad right now. I might have to have cucumbers dipped in ranch for lunch. I went ahead and broke out another thing of mayonnaise because I emptied this one. And I'm going to use the rest of this buttermilk. And this was an already open pack of ranch. So I've added to it. And I'm going to find a lid right here. And I'm going to. Make this into some ranch, too. Okay. I just came in from the uh, heat wave we're having outside. And it is 1113. And I have allotted myself until noon to uh, be doing some food-related things. <clears throat> but I'm also doing... Uh, today's Wednesday, so I wash all the bed linens on Wednesday. So, in the middle of that, I think I'm on my last load of that. Um... So my peppers and stuff right here should be about warm enough. I'm going to go outside and get the stuff off of the front porch and try to get these peppers done. All right, it is 12.05. I do have a mess to clean up a little bit, not much. But I just got my jars in here and it is at a rolling boil now. So I'm going to boil it for 15 minutes. Okay, friends, that does it for this video. We made five jars of dill pickles. We made some butter, some ranch. We made freezer pickles. We got some extra banana peppers here, which I'll just be snacking on. Gonna put these cherry tomatoes in the freezer, green beans in the freezer, and several jars of jalapenos and a couple jars of banana peppers. And I forgot to put the vinegar in to keep the lids and jars from getting the white calcium buildup stuff on them. I think that's what it is. Uh, we have very hard water, so anyway. Uh, I'll try to remember next time to put the vinegar in again because my dill pickle jars, although the lids have a little bit of that white on them, you can see that the jars are a lot more clear than these jars. So, anyway. All right. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe.